So we're going out today, stealing my mom's car because mine's still ripped apart. It's been ripped apart for about a month now. I still have to do the brakes, uh, the rotors, and put the whole interior back together because I'm running lights through a hole in the roof instead of running them under my weather stripping. I did that last time because I was lazy and uh, kind of paid for it. I just know I had, had a bunch of leaks and it wasn't it wasn't fun so i took out all the lights took off the pallet from the roof and put all the weather stripping back and it doesn't leak anymore so what i'm going to do is drill a hole into the roof itself and put a grommet in there run the wires through and then fill that hole with silicone and hopefully we don't have any issues where it um leaks because that would fucking suck <laughs> But uh, I'm on my way now to go pick up a roof basket from my buddy. He's fucking charging me like 60 bucks. It's not bad. It's a small little roof box basket. I'm gonna have to buy an extension for it, but uh, for that price, I'm not complaining. I got it back home. It was, uh, I don't know, I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit in this car, but it did, and we're good. Uh, I'm gonna put it up on top of the car and see how it looks. Not the car, but you know what car I mean. My car, not this fucking thing. So I don't know how well you guys are gonna hear me because there's uh, a lot of wind noise, but I got it up on the roof, I think. I think how you're supposed to do this is take these little like, kind of like plastic pieces, put them underneath the bars of the actual uh, basket, put this over top so it clamps down, and then put this through the bottom. So I think what I'll do is I'll just unscrew these, because these are all like just anti-wing nut, wing nuts, which I actually really like. Makes it a lot easier to install. And I'm just gonna wanna this up. And I'm gonna say, I wanna put it right about there. I'm gonna take this bolt, this like U-bolt thing. Feeding it in here is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, there we go. And then just kinda, Feed it in there so it sticks. Stick this on the top. Tight down your wing nut. This is used, so these are uh, not uh, fresh threads, to say the least. So it's a little tight, but it's not cross threaded or anything. I'm sure if I put a little lubrication on there, it would be a hell of a lot easier. I'm just gonna throw these on real quick. And then uh, once I get the other four, or other three, sorry, on, I'll show you guys what this basket actually looks like on the RAV. It's, uh, it's all right. It's kind of small for my liking, but I'm gonna buy an extension for it, which will bring it from, I think this is like 40 something inches to, I think like 62 roughly. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll be back once I finish bolting up all of these and show you guys the product. So I got it on. Like I said before, it's kind of dinky on this car. Like I'm going to get the extension for it. The extension should bring it to about like here, maybe a little bit over. Uh, then I got to buy some brackets for my lights. I'm probably going to do something back here with this because it comes with this plate on it. There's no like connection there or anything. And then this is kind of screwed on there and that's welded. So there's really no structural support for this. But what I'm gonna do is take this off, get a nut or get a bolt that's longer that will thread onto, or sorry, that matches the threads of here. And then I'll be able to put my, um, Traction mats there, and then I'll be uh, good. So I got the horn all uh, wired up and stuff again. It's gonna be hidden away. Uh, it kind of, kind of ran up, uh, ran into a mishap where the little Y connector broke because it's kind of cold outside. So I'm just gonna go buy a metal one to replace it, so I can run this horn as well. But for now, just. Um, just having this horn is loud enough. Going inside this mess of the car. 
that I have to put back together. I've got a switch right here that I'm going to put behind this panel. It's going to have a little hole, obviously, but, uh, So you're going to have to excuse the lighting in here because it's not good. <laughs> but I went and I picked up the basket extension for my piece of shit. <clears throat> so now I'm going to try and extend it. I just have to take off these long ass fucking things. I'm going to cut these because they're stupidly long. And use wing nuts instead. I'm going to have to take this lock off. But I have an axe and a shovel on this. Uh, I'm going to do a full update video on the car at some point, but uh, I'm going to stop talking and get this fucking thing on. Alright, so it's windy as hell, um, but I got the basket up on the roof, and it looked good, but I'm going to have to do a couple minor adjustments, like, I want to have this tire back a little bit more, although I may just leave it here, because these fucking things are too long and they poke at the tire, so I might just move these over, and then... I have a mount coming to lock this into place, and then I have light mounts coming to put my pods back up. So, uh, you'll have to excuse all this, because I'm in the middle of, like, repainting this whole fucking room, and I haven't decided what the fuck I'm doing yet. Um, but we're in my little stupid workbench closet thing. Got everything on the table. Got my coffee over here, because, you know, I'm tired, and I need my coffee. Fucking. So, I ordered some stuff. Um... I still have to go pick up a drill bit because I don't have a big enough one to fit these fat bastards through. Where's the little camera? There it is. Are you going to focus? Focus. Come on. Ah, fuck it. It's not going to focus. But anyways, what these are are adjustable cable plans. Adjust it down here. Alright. So... Basically what these are is a little like grommet type thing that you would stick your wire through and it's got these little like teeth things. Oh, I'm dropping things. I can't. I'm trying to make the camera focus. Hold on. No. No, it doesn't want to focus. Oh, okay. So just take my word. There's, there's little notches in it. <laughs> and when you tighten this thing down, what happens is it tightens around the o-ring and then eventually you'll have a seal like this that's tight I can pull on this that's not the best thing to do to your wires but that's just showing you how strong those things are so like I picked those up for 20 bucks uh, I think coffee's starting to set in because I'm all over the place um, I can't close this something's up hold up one of these is blocking it I'll just close it. Alright. Alright, so I picked up these mounts. 
right here, and what they are is these things. And they're meant to go around like roll cages, bull bars, and all this other shit. I'm using them for my roof basket. They come with a bunch of these little rubber insert things, different sizes. And I think when you take this out and, you know, put the other end of it back on, here it is. Let me just pop that down there. It's got stuck in there. Pretty sure that's about like a two inch thing, so it'd be good for roll cages and shit. Um, yeah, so they also send you the hardware with an Allen key, which is really nice because then you don't have to go digging for one, it's just right there in the box. I ordered t four of them off of Amazon for like 33 maple syrup. I can't remember entirely. If I can find them, I'll put them in the link uh, down below. But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That is what I have there, and then, what else do I got? Oh yeah, hold on, I need some coffee. Par you know, honestly, really, I don't, because I'm like, all over the place right now. Everyone's gonna think that I'm on crack. I'm on caffeine. I'm like four coffees in, because that's just how we roll. It's very unhealthy, but, you know, I gotta stay awake somehow, right? Anyways. On to the actual fucking reason I'm making this video. This bitch. Bro, look at the size of this wing nut. I guess I could tell you what it is. It's a Yakima spare tire holder or carrier, whatever the fuck it's called. Basically it is, or it comes with, there's these little plates. They're not plates, little foam pads that you can put on here to protect your rim. I probably could have positioned them in a different spot, but I don't really know comes with this giant ass wing nut with this little mechanism on it which actually goes into this plate right here oh fuck camera's on up there this plate right here and you can put a lock, lock through it so nobody can fucking you know come up unscrew this and take your rim or your entire spare uh comes with the hardware to mount to your basket uh, washer this like j-hook threaded j-hook thing with a little rubber cap that you can put on it. And then this plate that goes on the bottom. Basically what you would do is thread this J-hook through, put your tire on, put this over top, grab your washer, I believe, put it right there, grab your wing nut thing, giant oversized wing nut, and screw it on like that. So it's, you know, good. And I'm not gonna lie, when I got this, the um, the threads on the wing nut itself were actually, uh, I don't want to say stripped, but they didn't really match up to this uh, J-hook very well, so I actually had to force it on. It's it's fine now. It re-threaded itself, and it works fine, but that's, that's just the problem that I had. I don't know that it's a problem with every one of them, but that is just a problem that I personally have had. Uh, also, it comes with, in the hardware, this little, like, they call it a carriage bolt, that thing right there, the carriage bolt. You drop it in through one of these bolts, or one of these holes, and it'll go into uh, where your lug nut would go on your wheel. That's why there's, like, a couple different ones, just to line up with them. And then, <clears throat> you know, you would put it in and lock it on so your wheel doesn't spin. Not that it would or should if you had this, you know, tightened down to whole, a whole bunch. Because you can put a whole bunch of force into this to get it tight. Like, I'm I'm actually kind of squishing my hand right now. I should stop. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get back to you guys when I put this... Oh, wait, no. Actually, I also picked up... Because this is the hardware that was originally on the roof basket. It's like rusted... One of them threaded or what are they called lock nuts yeah lock nuts those things fucking they're kind of shitty what's up cat you want to get out Just hold up the cat's gotta get out <laughs> uh picked up these washers and i picked up license plate hardware kit because these are just, I had already had some of these lying around and I only needed two and this was like a dollar so I was like ah, I'll just pick them up and it gives me other bolts that I can use on my um basket should I need to these washers are just gonna go to kind of make sure that these bolts don't go through not that they would but I should be able to get the roof basket all mounted and trued up by the end of this video <laughs>
So I've got everything uh, installed except for the uh, light bar mounts because I still need to go pick up a drill bit to drill through the roof. Uh, I've moved these over. So now the basket is, it's a little sturdy, or a little more sturdy now, fuck. I had it more towards the middle and that was causing it to be super springy and making it bounce everywhere. But now it's not gonna go anywhere. I replaced those wing nut things with actual nuts. I still gotta do it over there. Uh, I threw the spare tire carrier mount on, or whatever the fuck it is. You can see right down there what I was talking about for the lock. You just stick one right through here. But like it's it's on there pretty good. I had to take uh, the bolt out of here and move the wing nut to the outside here. So I'm probably just going to cut this a little shorter. And I have to cut those over there still. But other than that, I've got everything back on the car and it's it's getting close to being ready to use again. Everything uh, is back together now for the most part. I still have to do some uh, fasteners for the roof, uh, but these are in, I've leak tested them. They don't leak. Uh, I'll go in here. I've got to clean up all these metal shavings in here, but whew, we got the roof back in. It's got to, oh fuck. I have to put uh, a connection thing in there and there. Um, and then right here, but then that's it, that's done. Uh, and I still have a couple other things I gotta do, but I'm gonna do them off camera because this video is already pretty much 20 minutes long. But I'm gonna have to, you know, clean up all these wires and get rid of some things. But yeah. Thank you. 